In this video, I'm gonna show you how to flip samples in Logic Pro X and turn them into Jersey Club bangers. Let's get into it. This is the sample that I'm gonna be using. I've got it pulled up into Logic Pro X and I've got it all stemmed out as well. It came with the stems, shout out Tracklib. And what I'm gonna do, the BPM is 117, so I'm just gonna change it to 117. I'm gonna select everything and then I'm just gonna hit this button here, which is the flex, and then I'm gonna change it to polyphonic. So what it's gonna do is allow me to change the BPM. So I wanna speed it up a little bit more. And then now I wanna put it to like, let's just say 140 BPM for now. So what I'm gonna do is just chop that there, select all the audio files, and then I'm just gonna bounce it in place. So it consolidates it and turns it into an audio file. All right, I like where it gets crazy there as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just cut the audio files in that place. And then I'm just gonna bounce it in place one more time. So I got two audio files with the sections that I like. So this is what we got for the samples, what I wanna chop. The way I like to chop samples in Logic Pro X is by using a plugin called Serato Sample. I have my audio file, I just drag it right into the sampler, it analyzes everything, and then literally what we can do is just start chopping. So I'm gonna set my slicer to like here. So those are my chops, and I just wanna find a new pattern. And then I am just gonna quantize everything and force legato. So it extends. So we've got both parts chopped up. Now I just want to add some effects to it. And let's just mess up the melody a little bit more. I'm going to add some portal on top of it. Something from my Trap Essentials bank. Yeah, that's moving, I like that. That's a nice foundation there. I want to add to it. I'm hearing like leads and stuff on top of it as well. I've got this preset. <laughs> From my Trap Essentials bank, I'm liking it. Let's just pencil something in. I'm hearing na na na, na na na. It's a little bit of side chaining. Yeah, that sounds sick. And I just want to add in some more sounds to brighten up the melody as well. I just want this to be kind of repetitive in the background. And then here, I'm just going to make it go faster. But then I do want it to echo again, so maybe just quarter notes. I want to add one more lead as well. Oh, I'm not gonna lie with that echo, that's sounding crazy. I really like that so far as a foundation. I think it does need some vocals on top of that. So I'm gonna find some vocal chops. These are vocal chops I found. This is the main one. And then we've also got these two here. I think they sound really nice together. What I'm gonna do is just put it to polyphonic once again so I can time stretch them. And then for these vocal chops here. They're very clashing when they're all together. So I am gonna turn them down quite a bit and I wanna put effects on all of them at the same time. So it's kind of consistent. I'm gonna select my tracks and then I'm gonna right click, create track stack, sum in stack and just put those both in a bus. So with those two, what I wanna do is just EQ it down a little bit more. I mean, this part is gonna go. But we're gonna smoothen it out a little bit more just so it sounds amazing. Let's just EQ it down a little bit and I am going to echo it and I'm also going to sign chain it a little bit. The sample is sounding nice so far, this is what we got. I might even just pitch it up a little bit. Oh, ho. Jeez, this one is sounding nuts. Let's throw some drums on top of this now. But before we do that, I just want to say a big thank you to Tracklib for sponsoring today's video and for supplying me with the sample. If you don't know about Tracklib, where have you been? Tracklib is an online sample library where you can go ahead, find original music, download it, sample it and chop it into whatever you want. The way I found today's sample, I was looking for something kind of dancey. So I literally just typed in 
to dance and flicked through their collections right here. I wanted to make sure that it had some stems. So within the track types, you can literally go through the filters. I selected songs with multi-tracks and then you can just go ahead. They have a cool little player down here where you can listen to the samples before you download them. I went through trying to find one that I liked and I eventually ended up on here. Sounds so cool. And also, if you want to get an idea of the bounce that you want to put on it, they have a little beat section here where you can add something. So let's try simple rock beat. Or even early house. Just to give you some ideas and some inspiration, if you want to try out Tracklib, I've got a link in the description. Go ahead and click that and you'll get 15 samples and your first month's free. It is the best place to find original samples online and clear them easily. So yeah, click that link below. Let's add some drums on top of this now. All right, I've got my sample here. But I think I want to speed it up even more. So let's try 150 BPM. So vibey. And when it comes to making like Jersey club beats, I like to do them in sections. So we have like one section here, one section here, one section here. And those four parts are gonna be four different drum sections. So for the beat, I want it to start out kinda a bit more chill. We'll start there. Then it will go into the vocals after that part. Then I want it to progressively get a bit more energetic. I'm gonna add in a kick from my Trap Essentials kit. I think that first one will do fine. And the pattern for Jersey Club is dum, 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 dum. The kick. And then underneath that, I'm gonna put the 808 pretty much on the same pattern. And I'm hearing a triangle coming in on some parts as well. So that's kind of it for this part. When it goes into the more energetic parts now, I want to keep the kick, I want to keep the 808. But I want to start adding in a bit more elements. So let's add in a clap. And the clap is pretty much going to hit the same time as the kick. I want to add in another clap as well, just to go with that. And then let's cut. Just repeat that the whole way through. We're definitely, definitely gonna need the squeaky bed, squeaky chair kind of sound as well. One more thing for this as well is just a hi-hat. And then once again, it's just gonna be the same pattern as the kick. I'm just gonna repeat that over into this section. Gonna get rid of the kick. And with the chair, I just want to give it a bit more energy, just echo it. I want to make the drops a bit more dramatic, a bit more crazy. So the best way to do that is just added in some drill fills. I have some drill fills from my kit, my Drill Essentials 2 kit, which isn't out yet, but it's coming very, very soon. All right, I think that one could work. I want to layer it with another one as well to see what we've got. All right, that's perfect as well. All right, let's speed it back up to 150. Hard. All right, the beat is finished. I'm not gonna lie, this one sounds insane. This one is crazy, it's got mad energy. Let's listen to it from the top. This one is crazy. If you like this beat, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. All the drums that I'm using for this beat are from my Trap Essentials kit. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.